I'm halfway through this video and now realizing that I should tell you from the beginning that I will be putting chapters in this video so that if you want to see the full winter 2023-24 new catalog scents, they're going to be in the first 17 minutes of this video. And then the second half of the video or one third of the video is going to be the Harvest Collection 2023 plus, which is five bars of wax, plus the Disney Harvest Bar. Frightfully delightful. All the descriptions about what I talk about in this video are going to be in the description box of this video. So you can go ahead and look there. There's also gonna be links. If you're a Scentsy Consultant, buy from yourself. If you're not a Scentsy Consultant, buy from me. Okay. Okay, we're gonna do a video in a different format here. There's a little bit of a mess behind me, whatever. No makeup, you know, I usually don't do that, but whatever, you're only gonna be seeing me in a little box in the corner. I have in front of me 16 uh, either partially used bars of wax or empty clamshells. I have the 10 new fall winter fragrances. I have the five Harvest Collection fragrances, and then I also have one um, uh, Disney Mickey Mouse blah 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 bullshit. Okay, bullshit. Um, I did take notes, so I'm going to be glancing this way, but we're doing this in a different format, so you don't really need to necessarily look at my face. I'm going to be showing you some graphics so that you can see the scent notes and not necessarily just listen to my voice. Or if you just want to listen to my voice, if you want to put me in your headphones, then you go to sleep or do dishes or drive or whatever. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Okay. Cranberry and cardamom. I'm also not going to be holding up things like this because that doesn't do any good. At least not for me. I did not use, I only used half of this bar. Cranberry and cardamom is described as cherry, white cranberry and cardamom. Hold on. Let me turn off my air conditioner. Not that I don't think I need my air conditioner, but just because of the noise. Cranberry and cardamom was nice. When I first smelled it in the clamshell, it was a little bit like cough syrup. There was a little bit more cherry than uh, cranberry. <clears throat> um, and I was a little like, oh, okay. it's a little sharp for me. Um, it just seemed a little bit one-dimensional, just like cough syrup. Um, but when I warmed it in my bedroom, right? In my bedroom? Uh, yeah, and I very rarely warm cranberry fragrances in my bedroom because I feel like they are a bit exhilarating. This was nice. I ended up taking it out two days later, even though it wasn't done. It had a nice little lingering thing. Okay, so cranberry and cardamom is nice, especially if you really like cranberry fragrances. I told you I wasn't going to hold up the bar, and now I'm holding up the bar. <laughs> um, I recommend it. Is it going to make it into my club? No. So out of these 16, I think only one or two are going to make it into my club, and even then, I'm not so sure. So because this is not finished, I'm going to put this bar over here, but as I show you bars that are finished. I'm just gonna be tossing them onto the floor over there because I didn't get a gar uh, garbage um, pail out. Actually, do I have a garbage pail? I might have a garbage pail, hold on. I have a garbage pail right here. So I'll be tossing them into the garbage pail and I'll be glad to be rid of them because I've been trying to make this video for four days and my family is sick of looking at these clamshells. Okay, this is gonna be a long video, did I tell you? Dashing. Dashing is the one one of them that might be going into my Sunset Club. First of all, it threw me for a loop because it was a navy blue wax. And usually Sensi doesn't do navy blue, although they did Homestead Holiday, which was navy blue. And then sometimes they'll do like tree scents with a little bit of a navy blue. But anyway, this one seems like it's the least or one of the least holiday-ish. This is fall and winter. This, I'm, I'm going through, first we're doing the 10 that are in the catalog. So some of these don't necessarily have to be very Christmassy or Thanksgiving-ish. I wish this camera wasn't going in and out of focus like this. But anyway, I'm going to be cropping my image down. And you know, like I said, okay, so dashing is described as vanilla, creamy mahogany, and fresh night skies. Fresh night skies? Okay. I live in New York City. We don't get any fresh air here at all. Uh, creamy vanilla? No, creamy mahogany. There is a creamy thing. For sure there's a creamy thing. 
The first time I warmed it, I was kind of disappointed because I got a lot of fragrance right away and then it just evaporated into nothingness. But here's the thing. I did this in my bedroom and my air conditioner was pumping. And so I was just like, oh, that really sucks. I'm going to try this again. I did it on a night. I did it on a night that was not quite so hot and the air conditioner was not off, but it was at a higher temperature or slash lower setting. So it wasn't as, um, it wasn't kicking in with the um, Freon as much, right? Loved it. It was a lot stronger. So moral of the story is that you have to be careful about using air conditioning when you, you know, really like to fragrance your house. It's empty, so I can throw that in the garbage. Okay, fall feeling. In my opinion, this was one of the strongest out of these 16 fragrances. This was very strong. It's described as blood orange, sugared cranberry, and juniper sprigs, and sparkling clove. It's not overly clove. And the juniper sprigs are really nice. I don't get a lot of cranberry. I get a little bit of orange. This was so autumnal. I put, I put the wax in my warmest and it immediately was autumn in my house. And it was a little off-putting because it's been, like as soon as I got these fragrances, then all of a sudden the temperature jacked up here in New York to like 100 degrees. <laughs> and I'm warming these things and I'm like, I hate every single one of these fragrances, but only because of the time of year. So, fall feeling. Um, it reminded me of Autumn Road Trip. It didn't have that same thing, but it reminded me of Autumn Road Trip. D completely different scent notes. Very good. I did five cubes in my living room and I think it was a little too much. So I'm looking forward to doing these three, maybe in my bedroom, maybe not. And I might hold on to those three cubes until the temperatures really drop down. Now, tomorrow's Friday, the 15th. And the high is supposed to be 73. I'm very excited about that. So maybe I'll do that one tomorrow. Frosted Cedar freaked me out. Not freaked me out. You'll see there, there was one that if you saw my first video of me sniffing these for the first time. Uh, what was it? Garland? Golden Garland? What is it called? Golden Garland? I don't know. Anyway, this one freaked me out too. Frosted Cedar is described as red delicious apple, white cedar, and creamy vanilla. I wish they had left the vanilla out of there. Vanilla and apple is very strange to me. This was creamy and bizarre. It was clean, but you couldn't figure out what any of the scent notes really were. Apple and cedar together is fine, but then that vanilla was in there and it just, I could not, I couldn't get a handle on this wax. I kind of hate it. I tried it twice, hated it both times. I'm not going to be repurchasing that. I encourage you to try it though because I've heard people say that it's fantastic. Okay. Here's the other one that's super strong. I'm going to apologize for constantly messing with my glasses. I spent a couple bucks on real Foster Grant reading glasses. I'm not yet ready to get prescription glasses because from far away I can see perfectly well. Um, but up close, I really need like a 1.5 or even sometimes a 1.75, but my computer screen is head on, straight on. So I really need to wear full size readers when I'm sitting at my computer and then when I'm driving or something like that, I can't wear anything. So I spent like 40 bucks on these because I really like the shape and everything. But first of all, I can't put them up in my hair because they have these things. I don't know if you can see it. They've got the, the, the nose grippy things and the nose grippy things don't stay on my nose because I have a pretty small nose and they just don't stay up. So they constantly go like this and I push it up and I go like this. Anyway, so I have new readers on their way to my house. In fact, we might hear the doorbell ding dong. I went to readers.com. I tried to get this shape. See, they fall down. I tried to get this shape, but without the little nose grippies so that I can put them up into my hair. Because when I put these up into my hair, they pull my hair out. Anyway, uh, Frosty Air is probably the strongest or second strongest from the uh, fall feeling, okay? But in a completely different way because this is not a fall fragrance whatsoever. So um, similar to the dashing, this is not really a holiday fragrance. It's not really a Christmassy fragrance. It's not really a cold weather fragrance. 
Um, <clears throat> this one might be making its way into my Scentsy Club. I really like it. It reminded me of Clothesline, but more, more, more like Windowsill Breeze. Anyway, let's talk about it. Sweet Citrus, Lily of the Valley, and Frosty Air. So this was very citrusy, but not in a food way. Not in like an appetizing way. And I couldn't figure out if it was lemon or orange or lime. Maybe it was grapefruit, but it was sweeter than that. This one is almost too sweet, but it's laundry. So it's a little, uh, it's a little jarring to my nose. Listen, one cube of this next to a litter box. If I still had cats, if I still had cats, I would definitely buy like two or three bars of this and then just always have a warmer next to the litter boxes because there was more than one cat in this house for a while. And um, I would just always have this just one cube next to the litter boxes. That's the way I would use this. So I put three cubes in my bedroom, sorry, in my bathroom, it was way too much. All of a sudden the, the it was just flowing out of the bathroom, leaching into other rooms. It was great, don't get me wrong, I like this fragrance, but in if you use it too strongly, you're gonna hate it because it's gonna be kind of headache inducing and stuff. That's how strong it is. Frosty air. It talks about having frosty air in the title, but I don't smell mint. Frosty air gives me the sense of mint. And I thought that this was gonna smell a little bit like polar bear hug or something like that, which used to be called something kiss, but you're not supposed to say that word anymore. And so if you're familiar with Scentsy for a long time, polar bear hug has, is, is a staple. It's not new. You would say to yourself, I never heard of it until two, two years ago, but that's because they have to change the name of the, of the wax. Anyway, <clears throat> something kiss or polar bear hug has been around for a really long time. I thought that this was gonna be like that, especially because it was the same color. Very strong, I recommend that you try this. I 100% out of all of these, I would probably recommend this the most because it's the most universal, even though you have to be so careful with it. And it's empty, so I can throw it away. Okay. Golden Garland. A lot of people got a kick out of my reaction when I warmed this for the first time. Because cold in the clamshell, to me, this smelled straight up like a dirty foot. And it still <clears throat> has that a little bit, but I actually like this. Okay, pine needles, marigold petals, marigold petals, orange sparkling twist, and golden musk. So musk is something that can either be a good thing or a bad thing. Um, it hit my nose in all the wrong ways when I first warmed it, but then what well, I warmed it and I, it really wasn't so bad. Um, the orange twist is there. This book, by the way, this reminded me a lot of painted leaves, kind of like how fall feeling reminded me of autumn road trip. This reminded me of painted leaves. I only put four cubes in my living room. Delightful. I'm not going to take back my first impression because still I'm not crazy about the way that this smells cold. But when you put it in the warmers, it's really kind of nice. It doesn't last for so long. It's not one of those lingering things. Again, I apologize. I'm glancing down here because I've got my notes over here. Okay. So Golden Garland, I'm going back on my whole thing where I couldn't even put it up to my face. And I would say, this is nice. Definitely not club worthy for me, but I have a feeling that some people are going to put it into their club club. Okay, this is going to surprise you a little bit. Well, maybe not because you probably, if you've tried this wax, you probably love it. And you probably said to yourself, you know what? That Metallica mom, I think about her all the time and I'm warming this and she's going to hate this. You know what? No, I'm going to surprise you. And I actually don't hate this very much. Make me snickerdoodle. I thought it was going to smell like St. Nickerdoodle. It does not. St. Nickerdoodle has apple in it and this does not have any apple. This is described as brown sugar, vanilla bean, sugared cinnamon. Um... I'm grateful that it's not too cinnamony or red hot -y. It's a baked cinnamon. This gives me just, um, this gives me the sense of a, there's a cinnamon candle burning in the house, okay? Um, which, by the way, my son bought me a candle again. He bought me a candle for Christmas. <laughs> it was kind of a joke. And I said, I'm not going to let this go to waste. And I lit it and I burned it and I loved it. I'm just burning it doesn't even roll off the tongue for me because I've been a scenting consult for so goddamn long, right? So the other day he was out with his friends and they passed the Bath and Body Works and the girls, there was like six of them and half of them were girls, whatever. So they're just like cruising on the streets of New York or whatever. And these girls said, we want to go into Bath and Body Works. And he goes in 
and he bought me a candle. I didn't, I don't even know the name of it. It's over there. Anyway, it's a cinnamon candle. And what's funny is that I was writing the description of this as that candle was burning. I'm like, oh my God, this smells like a cinnamon candle. Okay, this does smell like um, snickerdoodle cookies, which are basically just cinnamon sugar cookies, which I love, okay? Um, so if you, this is like the perfect fragrance if you're gonna have guests over and you really need like a homey feeling, not necessarily a clean feeling. If you can do clean feeling, I would put that frosty air. But if you needed like a warm, cozy feeling, but not too obtrusive, not too much like pumpkin in your face or something like that, this is nice. Not necessarily bakery, but just kind of a sweet cinnamon flavor. Flavor. Scent. Empty. Great. Okay. Midnight Mahogany. Like the dashing. The first time I warmed this, I was super disappointed. But the second time I warmed it, I was happy as a pig in shit. Described as black plum, cinnamon leaf, dark mahogany. I love mahogany. I love plum, cinnamon leaf. And sometimes cinnamon leaf can be a little bitter almost like the bark of cinnamon. I love it. It's not, I don't really smell cinnamon at all. It's almost like vanilla. It's not quite plum. The plum is so deep that you can't really smell it. It doesn't, you, you don't recognize it as fruit, okay? It's almost like stewed plums or something. Maybe even prune, okay? And then just the mahogany. I can't even really describe it. Perfumey masculine woodsy like it midnight mahogany i recommend it scentsy club worthy maybe not but i might buy three or four bars before the end of the season so that i have it through the summer because sometimes in the summer i just get sick and tired of the fruity shit too you know what I mean? okay palo santo another one that pleasantly surprised me i can't i'll just hold up the bars because that's what i do <laughs> palo santo I was afraid of this one because I don't really like Palo Santo in general as like an incense um, in the not necessarily um, home fragrance aspect, but the, uh, in the ritual aspect that Palo Santo is usually too ashy or woodsy for me. But this was very nice. Palo Santo, Italian bergamot, clove leaf and sandalwood. Not a lot of clove. At least I should say not too much clove. The Italian bergamot is what makes this because bergamot is kind of like lemon leaf or citrusy leafiness the greenery of a citrus tree is kind of like what bergamot smells like and it saves this one the sandalwood is there Ugh, it wasn't too strong so i think i'm going i still have three cubes right i think i'm going to um buy one more bar of this and i'm gonna let it sit for a couple weeks or months i think I, I, I really I like this one okay I like it and maybe it's gonna turn me around for the whole Palo Santo thing okay <clears throat> and lastly this is number 10 of the catalog fall winter 2023 slash 24 new fragrances that's a tongue twister and it sucks red wreath current red current wreath I warmed it twice I hated it both times Red currant, winter berries, evergreen, and sandalwood. I don't smell sandalwood. Cranberries and um, evergreen, sure. I warmed it twice. Four cubes and then four cubes. Two different rooms. Four cubes here, four cubes in my bedroom. My bedroom is half the size of this room. Smell nothing. Nothing. I smell something in the clamshell. But even then, it's not even like wax. It almost smells like a, a bar of soap. Not really cranberry. A, a little bit of evergreen. No sandalwood. <laughs> no. Goodbye. Okay. Here we go. Harvest Collection, 2023. Not 2023, 2024, because these bitches are probably going to be gone. Um, there's going to be a little overlap between the Harvest and the Holiday Collection. There's usually a little bit of an overlap. And these actually come in, the, well, they were arriving to your house in a little baggie, a little orange. Um, it's almost like, you know, the Ikea bag, right? But it's literal, it's like this big, right? Um, but they ran out of the bags. So now you can still buy this pack, but you just don't get the bag. I threw my bag away. 
I, I should have saved it. And, I don't know, whatever. But who the fuck is going to... Please. It's just a little bag. Anyway, cashmere leaves. Oh. <gasps> maybe going into my Scentsy Club. Maybe. And it's not just because it has cash, cashmere in the title. Because you know me. I'm a sucker for cashmere. I'm a cashmere whore. Okay? But cashmere leaves was disappointing when I, when I smelled it cold. God damn, my hair looks like a mess. Uh, cashmere leaves, I, I was very disappointed when I smelled this cold because I didn't smell any cashmere-ness. Whatever is in cashmere pear and cashmere and cashmere uh, and corduroy and cashmere cardigan, co cozy cashmere, blah, 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 blah. Whatever's in that that I love is not in this. And I'll say that again, that even though I like this and even though I've warmed it twice, there's still no cashmere in here. But this is the deepest apple. It's not fruity apple up here. There's no Macintosh, there's no Brayburn, there's no Honeycrisp, there's no nothing like that. There's no Golden Delicious, there's no Granny Smith. It is Red Delicious all the way down here. <laughs> Almost like stewed apples or a baked apple. Deep, deep apple fragrance. It's, okay. I'm getting too, I'm getting too far out of my mouth. Delicate falling leaves brush crisp apple with cashmere spice. The leaves are there. The little bit of spice is there. I wouldn't call it cashmere spice. It's a little bit cinnamony, a little bit nutmeggy, a little, no pumpkin spice. It doesn't have the clove and all that. But it lasted for three days. Both times I had to take it out of my warmers so that I could put new wax in because my job is to be a sensi consultant. So I have to, I personally feel the need to warm all the things so that I can give my customers an honest, direct opinion about stuff that I expect them to buy. And they expect me to tell the truth. So I need to warm everything to tell them if I like it or not. And sometimes I say to them, I didn't like it, but you're gonna like it because I know what you like. Anyway, cashmere leaves, dark brown wax, almost red, fantastic. Loved it. You gotta hurry on this one because this is the Harvest Collection. It's limited, it's not through February. Okay, if you don't want to buy wax right now, put this bitch into your Scentsy Club and then you can just get it whenever your club comes. And then you can choose when your club comes and how often. Okay, Dutch apple bread. Ooh, hatred, <laughs> not hatred. It's supposed to be sliced apple, warm cinnamon, brown sugar, and rolled oats. Okay, here's my problem. It smells more like cider than sliced apples, in my opinion, which isn't such a bad thing. And to be honest with you, when Bright Cider Life first came out, I was really excited when I read the description, and I hated it when I was warming it. Did I warm it before? I used the pods first, I think. And then I thought that the, the wax would be better, and it wasn't. Anyway, I'm not talking about Bright Cider Life. I'm talking about Dutch apple bread. Warm cinnamon. This is red hot cinnamon, not baking cinnamon. Brown sugar rolled oats. I don't really smell oats too much. I don't really smell anything bakery. To me, this smells like cider and red hots together, which sounds like it would be kind of nice. A little bit of bourbon in there. Mm. <laughs> but anyway, this was not my favorite. I tried it twice. No, absolutely not. Fall into love. This might be going into my Scentsy Club. I loved this one. Fresh orange peel and cool eucalyptus embrace sweet balsam. So all three of those notes in there equally. Orange. It's orange peel, really. It's not really orange. It's like the pith, right? Eucalyptus balsam. Clean, fresh. Not holiday at all. It's not overly tree. I love this. Fall into, fall into love. It's a weird name, fall into love. I know they're playing on the fall thing, but fall into love. Love it. Green wax, okay? Forever fall. You know what? I'm going to talk about this with this because I mixed it, okay? Fall into fall was so sweet. Baked pumpkin cinnamon stick, dash of brown sugar. It's like pumpkin pie without the nutmeg and the clove. If there was such a thing as 
melted pumpkin ice cream. <laughs> That's kind of what this is. It's too sweet for me. It's way sweet. So let's just jump on over to this one because it reminded me a lot of this one. These two mixed together were nice for what they were. By the way, this one, I plan on buying two bars of this, even though this is not my favorite. I'm going to be buying two bars of this and I'm going to be putting it out on with all my Halloween warmers on Halloween because not only do I do music on Halloween outside of my house, we also do like a little interactive thing with the little kids. At least we used to do it. We don't do it all that much anymore because my kids are older. They don't help out as much. And I don't know. We've been in this apartment for 15 years and every year we amped up Halloween like more and more and more. And we got a little bit of a reputation in the neighborhood as being like the Halloween house. And then because we're in the middle of my complex, my complex is a T, okay, uh, streets wise. So we've got four cross town blocks in New York, right? And so my apartment is the one in the corner in the middle. So people would drive into my neighborhood to ship their kids in to have them trick or treat here because it was like a fun experience because we did the music and we tons of candy. I think I gave out like 700 pieces of candy one year and not handfuls, like everyone got one or two, crazy. Anyway, I put out all of my Halloween warmers all around our corner apartment. And I, stra I strategically place them, uh, you know, for a certain amount of distance apart. And I load up two or three cubes in here because it never gets truly cold here in New York on Halloween. Very rarely. I don't think it's ever been like, you know, really super cold. And um, it's great because people walk it and they can, it smells like candy. This smells like candy. Anyway. Uh, so, is, so does Frightfully Delightful. Reminded me of candy corn, okay? Frightfully Delightful is golden pumpkin, harvest peach, whipped vanilla, brown sugar. So this has pumpkin and brown sugar also. So that's why they kind of went well together. Um, this one is supposed to have peach in it. I don't smell the peach. Mm -mm. I smell peach a little bit in the clamshell, but when I was warming it, I didn't smell that at all. Plus, this thing is 50 cents more. Plus, you can't use this with um, hostess rewards rewards because we don't want to be sexist right so as a sensei consultant I would have to buy this 100% out of my own pocket that's not gonna happen so I'm not gonna be buying this again although the artwork is super cute anyway and forever fall is what it is right okay so white pumpkin and driftwood this was the first one I warmed why do I keep on holding it up to the camera this was the first one I warmed when I got that whole stash delivered to my house love it it's um, it's a little bit, depending on how you think about it when you smell it. It either smells like a little bit of a perfumey, soapy, cardamom, solar amber, driftwood, white pumpkin. I just told you what the fragrances are, what, what the scent notes are. White pumpkin, driftwood, cardamom, solar, solar amber. When you think about it being clean, you could think about it being a really nice lotion or a soap or a broom spray, right? Like Febreze kind of a thing, right? But if you think about it in a little different way, it kind of smells like Cinnamon Toast Crunch. I smell Cinnamon Toast Crunch and not necessarily like with the milk in it, but just like if you're eating dry Cinnamon Toast Crunch, like, you know, as a snack, not bad. Lasted three days, pretty damn good. I like it. Is it gonna make its way into my Santa Club? Probably not, but I think at this time of year, specifically in like a, like a month, it's perfect. So when I think about what's going to go into my Scentsy Club, I think about, am I going to want it this time of year and other times of year? Or am I just going to want it at this time of year? Because by the way, Scentsy comes out with new shit constantly. Constantly. Um, that was 16 bars of wax. That was exactly a half an hour. I'm so happy. Well, not exactly, but you know what I mean. Um... If anybody has any questions about anything, go ahead and let, uh, let me know. Drop them down in the comments. Um, you can go to metallicamom.com. And technically, that is not my Sensi website, okay? You go to metallicamom.com, and you see there's a little splash across the top, and then there's like a little thing that says buy Sensi here. And then there's a little thing if you wanted to fill out your name and address and telephone number, or not even your address. 
maybe just your name and your telephone number or your email address and just write me a little note. You can do that there. There's a little form for you to fill out there. And then I'll either get back to you or whatever. I'll probably get back to you. I very rarely let anybody wait more than like two or three hours unless you're doing this at three o'clock in the morning. And then the third aspect of my uh, metallicmom.com website is that if you go to the right hand corner all the way down at the bottom, there's a little purple bubble there and you can talk directly to me. And it's like texting because that goes right to my cell phone. And then I can text you right back. And I usually get back to people like within five, 10 minutes. So anyway, I hope everybody has a great day. Tell me if you like this uh, format. I'm probably gonna be doing this format uh, for a couple of videos because I'm filming a couple of videos today. So if you don't like the format, Sorry, you're gonna be seeing it in the next couple of videos. And then if, if everybody says that they hate it, then I will go ahead and stop doing it. But I'm probably gonna be doing this for another two videos, maybe three. Okay.